going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some news, man. Today, we got 82 mods on the testing list. Another mod has been removed from the mod hub. The community spotlight returns this Wednesday. And we got 10 modders to talk about, including a great update on TNT Modding's Bucks County for all platforms. Check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing. Today, we have 82 mods on the list. 51 are in stage one or PC testing and 31 are in stage two or console testing. Some notable mods in PC testing today include the Klossarian 3000 Saddle Track American Pack and the Parker 4000 Gravity Wagon. Also in testing, we have the John Deere 7030 Premium Series, Chocolate Factory, Ranch House and Gate, and the Massey Ferguson 5S Rework and FL Series. Rounding out PC testing, we have the X7 VT Drive Track, T7 HD Series Edition, Case Age 890 Loader, New Holland Series LTL No Cab, and the 50-foot Gooseneck Transport Trailer. Some notable maps in PC testing today include New Lands, Ballam Road Dairy Farm, and Hills of Tuscany. Jumping over to console mods and testing, we've got the John Deere 710 Front Weight, Suznovka Placeables Pack, and the inline drop spreader. Also in testing, we have great production pack, Chowton VT120, pickup 2018 facelift, and the planet pumps and hoses extension, still in testing. And your maps and console testing today include in Lens of La Mancha and Colonia. With all that being said, we still have 182 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is about three workdays, which is the lowest I've seen it in almost a month. If you've loaded up Mod Hub today, you probably noticed something missing. The Ursus Medium series that was released for PC only on Friday. I've seen a lot of talk about this mod over the past three days, most of which were accusing the mod creator of using parts without permissions. I cannot confirm this on my own, nor am I making any accusations of my own, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I've seen and I haven't really seen anything different. The mod has received more hate than I think I've ever seen on a mod ever on the mod hub, at least in the five plus years that I've been following it, with over 700 votes in less than 72 hours, with an average rating of 2.3. If I hear anything else with this mod, I will be letting you guys know. Giant Software going live this Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time for the next installment of the Community Spotlight featuring Mayan Prophet. Kermit's been busy lining up more and more great guests for the spotlight every week, and I cannot wait. I'll see you guys there. Jumping over to Modern News, TNT Modding says that Bucks County PA is about ready for testing this week. Once he's done with the modding process, he will be finalizing all the small details, and then it's off for testing Mod Hub for all platforms. This could still take a little while, but I don't think anyone can deny that the process has been super fast on this project. These screenshots are from the initial announcement of the map back at the end of January, uh, just because we don't have anything else right now. TNT Modding is very good at what he does, and Bucks County PA is one of the most popular maps from Farm Sim 19, and I know a lot of you guys out there are excited to see it coming back. As am I. BC Beeler Farms updates us on a few things. First is his Edgewater Saskatchewan map. The map did fail testing again last week on a few missing files and bits. However, they've got it all fixed up and sent back for testing. Hopefully we'll see it soon as I'm planning to debut my new Let's Play this weekend on the map. However, I do want to wait for it to be released for all platforms before dropping any videos. We'll see what happens. Also, his land clearing pack did fail testing too with some stuff that needed to be fixed up and that's all done as well. This is a really cool pack and kind of a game changer when it comes to handling logs and forestry areas more realistically or at least clearing them. So I hope we get to see this one soon too. Alien Jim has apparently figured out a way to connect a winch to a tractor or vehicle without the need for custom scripts or fancy PC only trickery. In a new video posted on YouTube, he showed off the Telix Phoenix Winterwolf connecting to a small hitch on a Volvo BM 2654. This appears to hook up via a front trailer hitch or any trailer hitch probably. From there, he attached the winch and started pulling. He does say that there's still a few issues to try and sort out, but I think we can all agree that that just worked, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I cannot wait to see where he goes from here. Here's something awesome. The creator of American Farmlands map that we've seen in testing TK Farms reached out over the weekend to offer some more information and to give you guys an idea of what you can expect to see on the map. And he dropped a video on YouTube as well, showing it off. Check that out after this one. This is his first map and intended for all platforms. The map is a fictional map with American Midwest feel. You have a starting farm with one field. All buildings on the starting farm can be sold. There is a train on the map 
Selling points for grain, bales, and the train area as well can be used for selling. And of course, we've got an animal dealer and a vehicle shop. The map features 62 farmlands with small to large farmland and sizes. And there's 100 wooden collectibles and the map is precision farming ready. As for some custom features, there are some custom animal foods for the sheep, cows, and chickens. Sheep will need silage and hay. The cows need TMR silage and hay, not just TMR it appears. And chickens take wheat barley, sorghum, and corn. There's also a custom TMR mixer for food types with oats and corn being added. We've also got additional paintable textures and foliage, paintable fields, which is a bit of a game changer. And we've got the Midwest US seasonal weather, custom crop prices, and a custom soil mount, as we mentioned, with precision farming. I want to thank TK Farms for reaching out, and I'm super excited to see this map of the game and everyone to enjoy it. If you would like to see this map before it is released, definitely check that video out. Linked in the description beside American Farmlands. I think we've gone long enough in the video without talking about tractors, so let's do that. Rawson Mod shows off some new screenshots of his JCB Icon Pack with both the 4000 and 8000 series tractors being showcased. He says that they're nearing completion on internal testing and that has started. Uh, I know that we've seen the JCB 4000 and 8000 series in testing, but it does appear that those are not Rosses. Either way, these tractors look awesome. I especially love the Union Jack on the front. That's always been my favorite livery on a JCB since seeing it for the first time. I think it was in 17 or 19 on a virtual farmer video. When I saw that, I was hooked. Gamer Designs brings us massive updates on what they're working on right now, and they've done it in a very interesting way. First is everything that you need to chip trees. The chipper will load on and uh, shoot out a reload trailer and unload at selling points by walking floor or lifting ramp. Next, he says everything that you need to cut down trees, including the 669 buncher, track buncher, and a new head being modeled for the 669 buncher pack. He's also working to convert the map, the interior with poor boy modding, who we'll talk about in a moment. He's taking his 1967 Peterbilt 351 and rebranding it as a 669 hauler, which we've actually seen this. I believe we got flatbed, log bunks, pup trailer, service bed, and fifth wheel configuration. And he's working on a four-door flatbed service pickup truck with a fuel tank and gooseneck attachments. In the future, he hopes to start work on a wheeled skid steer, a dozer skidder, more semi-trucks, more forestry equipment, placeable buildings, and more maps. This dude is all over the place, and I really cannot wait to see what he's got in store next. Speaking of poor boy Monning, he reached out this morning to let me know that Rogue River Valley did fail testing, but he has it fixed up and plans to resubmit it later today. Lancy Boy has announced a new smaller project that he's been working on over the weekend is English styled wood slated barn. It'll have working doors, brand new ones actually, ones he's never used before. His aim is to make this barn feel totally unique and unlike anything else that we've had in the game. And I think he's done that a few times now, so I can't wait to see him do it again. Uh, you'll also be able to muck out the manure finally from the cattle in here, of which it holds 200. Elk Mountain Modding's been working on a ranch fence set and says that so far it includes a wooden fence to match the new ranch entryway, which is in testing right now. We'll also have a cross buck fence, a steel post barbed wire fence, rusty pipe fence, rustic log fence, and a green stock panel. These are being worked on right now. And lastly today, Taylor Farms dropped a ton of pictures on his new Frankenmuth 4X and says that internal testing will start this week and the map will be released on March 22nd, 2023. I believe that's a Wednesday for PC only. I do also believe he's releasing this on his Facebook page. So once that happens, I'll let you guys know. And I'll let you know when it's time for the Civil War segue to the outro. The time is right now. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com thanks to Yoast. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released other than Frankenmuth. We, we know that now. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. What's up? Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace. Dude, I'm exhausted today. I stayed up till almost midnight watching the post stuff from Super Bowl. I'm so tired.